you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I have more time behind me than I do in front of me, it's important now, today, more than ever, to stay true to my word, to stay true to myself, and develop this strong mindset to do what I have to do to lose my weight, and as much weight as I want to lose within the next year. Notice I got my belt on. I'm improved. Anyway, now that I have my YouTube channel, I browse YouTube a lot. And I came across a young lady who does exercises for the oblique, uh, not the obliques, yeah, the obliques, the love handles, and the waist. And she does them all standing up. It's important to me that I get something that's conducive to what I could do for my age and my weight. So, if you stay tuned just a little bit, you'll see that I'm working out on my obliques and my waist while I stand up. Right now, I'm just warming up. My name is Teresa Ann Garrett Green Ford, and you can call me T. If you've ever wondered how I got so many names, Garrett is my birth name, and I was married very young. about 30 years and I'm just newly married for the past seven years let's see and then I've always wanted to have a nickname but I was too shy I guess you could say and I never whoo sorry I was too shy I guess you could say and I never gave it to myself but now, I say call me T. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing standing oblique crunches. Woo! So, between doing exercises, Every day doing something, like I showed you, my arm exercises, my stretchiness exercises. Something's got to give. Wouldn't you say, Jay? Mm-hmm. So this is a modified jumping jack for me. The only person that I really compete with is myself. So as long as I improve each and every day, each and every week, that's all that really matters. Off 
the belt goes. I'm going to throw it right over here on the chair because I think it'll be a little easier to do my hula without the belt. like me, you probably have a can or two of tuna fish in your pantry at any given time. Today, I'm going to make a tuna fish salad that ain't like your mama's tuna fish salad. I like to start off with a yellow fin tuna or a white elbow pork. Now, the better your tuna in the can is, the better your tuna fish is going to taste in the long run. So, what I do is, I take my I have mine packed in water and I drain it in a strainer. It's important to strain it because you don't want a watery tuna fish. So I'm going to put it right in my bowl. See all that extra water? Take that out. Put that right over here. I'm going to just flake it. Now, if you're not a big fan of canned tuna and you'd rather use fresh, you do your thing. And you use your fresh, just make sure it's cooked first. I have about a quarter cup of red chopped onions. You could use white onions, yellow onions, it's all up to you. And for each can of tuna fish, I like to add one egg. So this is an egg two eggs that I already chopped up. And I forgot to mention that when I um, usually make my tuna fish and I know I'm gonna make it in advance, I normally put my cans of tuna fish in the refrigerator so when I'm done with making my salad, it can be eaten right away because it's already chilled. Then I'll put about two teaspoons of Sweet relish. I like using sweet relish. You don't have to. You can use dill if you want to. And then a little squirt of mustard. You could use any kind of mustard you want. I'm using yellow mustard. A little bit of salt, I mean pepper. I never liked to taste the pepper before until I met my husband. He always used pepper and he used ground fresh pepper and hey, it makes a world of difference. A little bit of salt. And then last but not least, some mayo. Now when I put my mayo in, I like to just put a couple teaspoons, or I mean tablespoons in at a time because I don't like my tuna fish to be too wet. So I'm gonna stir that up like so. And that looks like it's enough man, man eggs for me right now. But we'll see. Now what's gonna set this tuna fish salad apart from other tuna fish salads or your mama's tuna fish salad is that I add cranberries, dried cranberries, and I, dry, and I add a little bit of sliced almonds. 
yay. Or should I say yum? And then I just stir it up. Now, if you want, at this point, you could sprinkle um, lemon on it, but I don't sprinkle lemon on it until it's on my plate simply because uh, everybody don't like the taste of lemon. So for starters, I might put a little bit more mayonnaise in there just to look so it can hold it together. Looks a little too dry. So, I'll stir it up like this. Now this is done. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm not even going to taste it until it's all ready to come together. Simply because I know it's good. So I'll clear this out of my way. I'll put the tuna fish to the side. I'm going to grab my plate. And I'm going to take my spring leaf lettuce. Right here, I have a little bit of oil and vinegar that I'm just going to mix up and sprinkle just a little bit on my on my spring leaf lettuce. Take my tongs and just mix it just so my uh, leaf lettuce can have some flavor to it. Then I'll plate it right here right in the center of my plate like so. That's pretty. And I'm going to take a tomato. This is a beef, beef steak tomato. I'm going to slice off, can you see that? I'm going to slice off the very top of it just so it can lay down on my lettuce right here. So I'm just cut this, making sure that I don't cut it to the very bottom because we want it to stay intact. And I'm gonna do it in ace. So I'm gonna take my tomato, place it in the center of my lettuce. Now, if you don't care for spring leaf lettuce, use the type of lettuce that you like. Always use the ingredients that you like because you'll enjoy it better. Now look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna take my ice cream scoop and place some tuna fish right on the top. Yes, that is so, so nice. Now the beautiful thing about this salad, we'll put that right here because I'm still not done with it, okay? I'm gonna take my mandolin and what makes this tuna fish salad so special from the others, I'm gonna take a green apple that I'm gonna slice. If you don't have a mandolin, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is slice it with a knife. Put my plate right back up here and just, you can take the seeds out, center it around my plate with apple slices. The reason why I'm doing it with apple slices because I'm not gonna use um, crackers. I'm using my apple slices in place of my crackers which is going to make it even which is going to make it even more low calorie. So then you could put a little piece of lemon on there. And I'm going to take this lemon. Lemon to me always brings out flavor. And then I, that's when I'll put my lemon on. Okay? Jay, can you bring the camera up? I'm going to dig in right here. Take an apple slice. I love Granny Smith apples. 
let's see how the combination of a Granny Smith apple, which is tart, yet crisp to the bite, with the sweetness of the cranberry and the crunchiness of the almond, let's see just how good it tastes. Divine. This is why I call it not your mama's average to the fish salad. With the almonds, with the sweetness of the cranberry, with the crunch of the apple, it's absolutely amazing. My husband and me, we're going to dig, dig into this. <laughs> 